Today we go over the biggest easter egg in Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, it is greatly appreciated. Now, in case you guys haven't seen the film, I highly do suggest that you guys exit out of this video right now. But without further ado, let's get right into the subject. So toward the very ending of this movie, we are presented with Jedi Master Luke Skywalker entering the Rebellion base where General Leia is. Now when I first saw C-3PO's face turn the other way, his head turning the other way, right then and there you knew that Luke Skywalker's presence was felt in that room. So there's a scene in which we do, yes, have a reunion between the Skywalker twins, somewhat, I'll get into that later, but we actually do have Luke Skywalker giving Leia a certain object. They are dice, and it really left a lot of the audience wondering as to what these dice really are. What's the significance of them? Well, they were actually belongings to Han Solo. So I wanted to go over a big Easter egg here for The Last Jedi that originates from Star Wars A New Hope. You can actually see these dice within the Millennium Falcon. Now, in Star Wars A New Hope, we actually do get a glimpse of the golden dice twice in Star Wars A New Hope. The first appearance is when Chewie boards the Falcon during the Mos Eisley escape. They hit Chewie's head as they dangle above. The other appearance is when the Falcon is being pulled into the Death Star by the tractor beam. There is deep meaning to the golden dice. It was also used in the development of Han Solo as a gambler and a risk taker. This was inspired by George Lucas from his film American Graffiti in which Harrison's character has a dangling skull above his head in his car. Also, Pablo Hidalgo of Lucasfilm had this to add. He says, the story that you would hear if you traveled to cantinas or watering holes around the Star Wars galaxy is that those dice were involved in a game of Corellian Spike, a dice using version of a game called Sabek. Rumor has it, Han won the Millennium Falcon from the Lando Calrissian with those dice. Whether or not that's just bar talk, I can't say. So, when it comes to Star Wars A New Hope, we actually do see those golden dice, and we get to see a mirror version of them in The Last Jedi. Luke Skywalker gives them to Leia, and we later see Kylo Ren pick them up as they disappear. Now, this is just moments before he actually engages in yet another Force Bond sequence with Rey, right after she shuts the door. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.